If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Are you looking for Rebel Clash codes? They are already available on Poton Store, as you can see, and you can use Tableman code for 5% off or for any purchase of all the other code cards they have. For the European players, Millipods Gaming has everything you need from collectibles to all the new Pokemon Sword and Shield cards and Rebel Clash is now in stock. Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Alrighty, alrighty, so I am back, let's play with Green's Reshi, I don't know why, like this deck in my mind it makes sense that it would be good right now. This is the uh, top 128 list from the 4th Limitless Qualifier, um, I'm not super sold on some of these cards and I feel like Star is needed in order to try and beat Baby Blounds, I feel like that's the only way you would beat them. So, I mean, we have Volcanion for the Flare Starter. Attack, you search your deck for a fire energy, attach to one of your Pokemon. If you go second, you may attach up to three instead. And High Heat Blast does 50 damage plus 60 more if you have four energy in play. Uh, Ryan, the guy with two hats, thanks so much for being here. How's the Dragapult matchup? I don't know. This is literally the first time I'm looking at the deck. Without healing, Dragapult is probably also not good. So I would like four mixed herbs in this as well. Um, we have Rishi's Art, Outbreak, Fuller Strike, and Double Blaze. Okay, so let me let me try and streamline this a little bit. Overall, right? I feel like the Ender Porter is a little bit of a death weight. I don't also like Tax Switch. Um, Dual Scrapper probably necessary for Metal Frying Pans, although we're not seeing too many of those lately, so I'm actually gonna take that out. Uh, one of each of these is good. Mm, I really want four mixed herbs in this. I really, really do want four mixed herbs in this. Um, I don't wanna modify consistency, honestly. Uh, I'm not sure Giant Hearts is worth it when I have the Power Plants. I mean, Stamp plus Power Plant is also really good against Baby Blounts, right? Stamp plus Power Plant is also really good. I kind of feel either the Jam Card or the Fire Flint. But I like having double access to Energy Surge. How much Chaotic Spell is being played? Not a lot. Not a lot Chaotic Spells are being played. Um, You know what? I'm gonna... Nah, the Air Balloon is good. This deck benefits much more in a format that isn't open list. Yeah, I, I would agree, man. I would definitely agree with that. Um, mm, 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 mm. I'm torn between the Jan Hearth, the Air Balloon, or the third Cynthia for the fourth mixed herb. Mixed herbs. I have 10 locked somehow. The Poke Gears also seem pretty random. I'm feeling like taking out all Cynthias and then. Adding in the fourth poke here. And that seems solid. I think I like this. Moving forward, so we have greens to search for mixed herbs, custom catchers, anything really. Uh, we have no boss disorders, but we do have these things. We have healing. Like, in my mind, right? Stamp plus power plants beats baby clown and then if you don't have the space for Omastar, right or if you want to play Omastar, you can just not play mixed herbs but mixed herbs should be very good against dragapult and then we have um, fire typing for station so does that cover the big three packs um Pigram is also an issue you have muscle band to a uh, vitality band sorry to ko um Pikram. so that could be good is a single tackle really worth it? I mean, maybe sometimes you won't be able to discard for it. Yeah, there's no there's no tackle supporters, right? So that's definitely not worth it. That's definitely not worth it. So let's, yeah. I, I like that call, right? I like that call. I actually really like that call. I would love a third reset stamp as well. 
I love a third reset stamp. But I think I'm gonna keep it like this for now. I'm just gonna change the energies. I don't like these. I don't like this. And I'm gonna play these tag team energies with the tag team Reshizard deck. Alrighty. Do I have other Reshizards? I do have one of these logs. I have four promo ones. Let's use the promo. Nah, let's, this is fine. I have too many Reshizards apparently. Alright, so let's play with this. I don't know what else to play today, honestly. Like, I feel like I've covered all the top decks so many times. I could play the combo plants, which did well in the qualifier four. <clears throat> Alright, hello Tim. Thanks so much for being here. We're gonna be playing with Green's Reshizard for today. Queen's Rush is hard for today. Well, for a little bit, and then we'll switch decks probably to combo plants. See if we can win with that. See if we can win with that. What am I listening to? Alright, we find an opponent. I feel like I should choose to go second. I can't believe I'm paired up against a water deck. <laughs> Should I choose to go second? Yeah, I, I feel like I should choose to go second with this deck. I think it makes sense. And not a great start. Not a great start for us. And this is... I saw this being posted somewhere, like the Articuno Intellion deck. We see the buckets. We are going to be able to remove the energy at least. A green stop deck would actually make this pretty workable. A green stop deck would actually make this pretty fine. Especially because I get to remove the energy. This protects from supporter cards, but not from my double customs. It's very unfortunate that I choose a uh, little late, Tim. Uh, well, it's 5 p.m. for me. Um, I'm trying out this new time, right, to stream. I'm trying out these new times to stream in the afternoons instead of the mornings. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. 5.20 p.m., not super late. Right, we see the other Articuno. Not the best hand. But eliminating it's oh there you go, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty late for sure. Okay, so not a lot for us to do here unfortunately other than thinning. Not a great start. We do have four Poke Gears, four Welders, four Greens, and two Cynthias, and we were not able to draw any of those 14 cards. Pretty unfortunate. A quick ball or a Volcanion would have also been good top decks. So we had uh, 14, we had 20 good top decks. Right? We had 20 good top decks. Uh, all of them are still decent top decks, but mostly the Welder, I guess. That's okay, Tim. Oh, nice. We get Marnie. I appreciate that. Are you back in. You're, you're from Australia, right, Tim? Are you back to normal in Australia? Like schools are back open and stuff? Or are you taking school? Um, like are you taking lessons just... Oh, from Germany, sorry, my bad. So you're back to school or is it like online school? Uh, alrighty, so I'm gonna get wrecked here. However, I can find healing, right? And I can double custom wherever he transfers the energies to. So it's all about chasing the energy for me in this match. It's all about chasing the energy for me. Grab the other quick ball. I will go ahead and do this for another Reshim. And so the third damage doesn't really matter too much here. Yeah, yeah. I know you're the goon guy from OIC. I don't, because of OCIC, um, I didn't realize that. Um, 
Like I just assumed Australia. I didn't remember your nationality. Sorry. Hello, Pratiti mom. Um. Oh, you were explaining to Ryan. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. It's just I didn't read all the chat. Um. You have normal school since two weeks. That's awesome, Tim. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. Things in Mexico don't seem to be getting back to normal anytime soon. Okay. So he can't move the two energy, and then I'll just chase the energy and outrage the energy. And if he doesn't move them, that would be silly, right? So why wouldn't he move them? Alright, there's the denim. If he powers up, um, like I'm gonna get hit for 140 right now. Does he go for Intillion right now? Maybe I should have grabbed Welder and Greens. 200 HP, okay, so I can take down the Intillion if that's where the energy goes to. I think that's gonna be worth it. If my opponent decides to power up the Intillion, going Greens, double custom, Attach GXKO on the Intellion seems like a good call. Oh no, please. Flip tails. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just not gonna bother. <laughs> Great start. Great start. <laughs> Tim. Why do you think that is? Do you think Germans just don't enjoy watching streams as much? We start Reshi's Heart once again. At least we have supporters this time. Um, Stamp plus Power Plant will be pretty good against my opponents. I don't see the switch being too useful. So I'll do that. I hope he plays Shrine. That way I don't need to search for Vitality event. And then we'll pass. Yeah, Crushing Hammer is such a stupid card, I agree. It's like you flip one head at some point in a game and then you've immediately won the game. You've immediately won the game. Alright, so Black Market, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Am I getting damage here? Really? And I punt off away the energy? Why wouldn't he mark me for Evil Talk GX? That makes no sense. Why wouldn't you mark the Reshi's Heart for um, for Evil Talk GX? Alright, just hit for 40, take the return, get return KO'd, and then Evil Talk GX takes you three prizes. Alright. Decides to hit for 160 instead. Decides to hit for 160 instead, I imagine. There's a quick wall. Another Spiritum. Pretty scary. Pretty scary so far. And there's the Anguish Cry for 100. So my opponent needs to find Shrine in order to. Um, oh, not anymore. Okay. I'm gonna do this and find Welder. Alright. So. Ugh. Do I welder to the bench and risk not getting energy? No, that would be terrible, right? Do I assume I'm gonna survive the hit? I think I will. I mean, I have outreach, right? So I should just attach one. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, this should guarantee that I survive, though. So that should guarantee that I survive. The next turn. So Reshazar will take at least two prizes. And I'm hoping at some point I'll be able to stamp plus power plant my opponent to prevent um, Horikoro Jax from getting him anything here. Daniel gets immediately countered. 
Hey Jump, thank you so much for being here, Vince. Thank you so much for being here. You can still attach Hustle Belt indeed, but now with the big charm, I should be fairly out of range, right? Should be fairly out of range. Um, I guess he does have six again. Right? He definitely has six again. He definitely has six again. He needs another rainbow. He has the Hustle Belt. That would be 160 plus the Shrine 170. Thanks so much for the host jump. He would need uh, three drops, like six seven and double scoop up net, which doesn't seem likely. And we're gonna get more need. I don't mind that at all. As long as I find greens at some point, you know. <laughs> oh my god! Why does this keep happening? It's incredible. It really is incredible how bad I draw. Like, it really is incredible. Oh my god. Anyways, we'll top deck, we'll top deck something good. I hope. <laughs> Hustle belts. Alright. And then shrine tick to 80, 90 to 70. Nice! Top deck! Let's go! Let's go! Alright, so... I think I need this for sure, and I need another of these. Although I could get the Heat Factory instead. I actually think I like the Heat Factory. Yeah, I like the Heat Factory. Alrighty, I really think stamps are gonna be key to me winning, but Volcanians will probably also be key. Alright. Yeah, if he had attached rainbow, we would have been KO'd for sure. Alrighty. Okay, there's one, that's nice. No draw supporter, as expected, right? Okay, so my three prize Pokemon takes two prizes. So not very cost effective, right? So far. Not very cost effective so far. But nothing I could have done about that. Nothing I could have done about that, honestly. Alright. We're gonna get more need again! <laughs> I'm gonna get Marty yet again. There's the rainbow. And there's a scoop of net. Okay, we can't KO Puzzle with uh, Blasephalon, and that's an issue. That is a problem. We can't KO Jirachi, however. So, can I get our greens? No. <laughs> not a single green, not an energy. My stamps are at the bottom of the deck. I need this Poke Gear to really come through for us. Like, really, really come through for us. Here we see Sixagoon. What? No way. No way. No way. Oh my god. Don't, don't get Shrine or your last scoop of net. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I'm already playing a very deficient deck, you know? And Pokemon just makes it really hard for me to win every game. <laughs> Every single game is just impossible to win. What the heck? Right, like, what the heck, man? Yeah, in the Pokemon tournament, I needed one net and I didn't get it. And then it's just. Oh. <laughs> I 
any on Miracle. I actually need a Miracle, which means energy plus double customs off of this. Never in my life, of course, I would never ever draw that. <sighs> I mean, yes, this deck is probably not tier 1, but my draws just make it look like garbage. <laughs> I've been drawing so badly, so bad in every situation, so bad. <sighs> it's insane. It really is insane. And Michi, their Vol, Trottel, I don't think I said, thanks so much for the follow. Definitely missed that notification, thanks so much for the follow. draw this bad every time. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, how? Okay, this looks like a decent... My opponent chose to let me go first. <laughs> My opponent win flips and then they let me go first. Okay. I'm gonna attach path. I'm probably gonna get dunked by P drone. I bet I'm gonna get drunk, drunk by P Grom. Hello Dave, thank you so much for being here. How are you doing tonight? Oh my god. We are super dead here. I'm gonna get so dumped right now. No, I don't know what this is, actually. I don't know what I'm up against. And wow! I Big Burn, thank you so much for the raid! 27 viewers, thank you so much! Welcome, how's your stream? Thank you so much for the host. Very kind of you. How are you doing? How was your stream? <laughs> Getting spammed by those cool emotes. <laughs> Thanks so much to everyone who's here. Welcome. For those of you who might not know me, I'm Tablemon. Tailmon following TCG streamer. You've been playing Red Dead Redemption. Nice. How's that going? Mr. Ian, thanks so much for the follow. Very kind of you. Welcome to the stream. Okay, we're finally up against Seishin. Finally. <laughs> so we're probably not gonna dump. This doesn't take away weakness, does it? No, this doesn't take away weakness. Good. Gunsling in the Wild Wild West. Nice. I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn myself. I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn myself. And I've been enjoying it, you know? I've had to play in like the lowest difficulty because <laughs> I'm really bad. But it's been pretty cool. Thank you so much, Tim. Enjoy your school tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Fine. Thank you, I Big Farm. Thank you so much. Good luck at the doctor's appointment. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, is so my friend trying to dunk me? I could get dunked here. Did you play as a portrait? You did, right? Yeah. There is a chance I get dunked here. If that card from their guru is a metal saucer. And he had to switch, but that's not the case. Good. <laughs> Good. Alright. So I'm gonna play the other Poke Gear first. If I find greens, nice. Then I'm gonna get a decent setup ish. Alright, so I'm gonna grab. Honestly, double Quick Ball seems good. Is it Quick Ball Welder? Mm hmm. I think it's Quick Ball Welder for next turn. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and quick wall away the stamp, now the vitality bench, with the Reshi. And then I'll go ahead and attach here, and then go Flare Starter. I don't mind not killing that Drachi, that's completely okay. I have my GX attack ready for that um, station, which is pretty nice. Alright. Alrighty. Energy to the mobile. Interesting. You miss Old Galio, he was your favorite deck. At which stage, Dave? At which stage was Old Galio your favorite deck? Alright, so we're gonna get wrecked here off the boss's orders, maybe. Was it like Solgaleo, GX Torrentes? Was it um, Gardevoir Solgaleo? Like which Solgaleo deck? Middle Saucer. Will my opponent soften me up with a oh, while? Wow. We actually do 40 damage to me? Yeah, he will. He actually will. And that puts me perfectly in range. Very nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and well there. Get me other custom catcher. Nope. Um definitely think I should just retreat and power up again. Because then that's how wasted bosses orders for my opponent. Right? That is a wasted boss orders for my opponent. We just tries to attack with mobile. Now I can KO him with Volcanion. If I had drawn a switch, that would have been fantastic. If I had drawn Custom Catcher, that would have been fantastic. But what are you gonna do? So Galarantis and five Soul Galios? Wait, what five Soul Galios? I don't remember that. So Galarantis was a pretty fun deck to play, definitely. So Galarantis was a pretty fun deck to play. Alright. <laughs> Different GX version. So Galil and Mala seemed cool. Yeah. Oh, so Galo GX and the Prism, that's right, that's right. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Oh, he used Intrepid Sword, okay. I mean, that's still really bad. <laughs> Everyone already has the other boss orders in hand. <laughs> why, why does this happen to me every time? I Marnie to a dead hand? <laughs> All right, well, that stops the boss's orders, but it's not good enough. Oh, this is so dumb. Like, I can't draw mediumly well at all today. At all. I'm just gonna quit this one. <laughs> this deck is a big fail. This deck is a big fail. One last one last game to try and redeem it. How does this deck make day two at a limitless qualifier best of one tournament? It's it's me, right? It's me. It has to be me. <laughs> it has to be me. Like there's no other explanation. It's not a brick, like the combination of cards I keep getting is just awful. And Marty keeps getting me like full completely bad cards every time. That's not normal. It's like sometimes it'll make you break, other times it won't. Why does it happen every time to me? <laughs> every single time. It's just, it's insane. Ah, oh, it's really starting to get to me. Right, multiple mulligans, and we're up against Triopolds. Let's see if our mixed herbs can do something. I mean, it is bad, right? Marnie definitely affects it, but you're expected to draw something off of Marnie, right? It's four cards and your top deck. It's not like one card or two. 
but I keep drawing worse than stamps to one. Uh, I don't drink, Dave, so I really wouldn't be able to say. And like, look at these hands. No double energy for welders. No Volcanian start. I've started Reshi's art every game, but I've gone second. It's just this one. <gasps> Yeah. Yeah, I guess this deck is just bad. Completely and utterly bad. I guess this deck is just completely bad. Yeah, that's true, Potion Waiter. You don't rely on Welder. But I mean, you do have Full Canyon, right? To accelerate, at least at the beginning. Some decks just don't work for some people, I mean, but no deck works for me lately. Not a single deck works for me. Because of how bad I draw. It's like nothing works for me. I've I tried laddering earlier today with towards winning Dragapult super consistent list. I won like one out of six ladder games earlier today, and I'm all for three right now. So at what point is it the dex and at what point is it just my god awful draws? Okay, top deck switch or greens. Switch or greens, switch or greens. No, <laughs> that's not it. That's not it. Right. I am so dead. I am so dead. And look, I just didn't get into a dead hand. <laughs> After a terrible start, I just didn't get into another dead hand. Like, even if I wanted to stay in that game, I just. Why bother? Because I'm just gonna attach paths. Ugh, <laughs> what is wrong today? PTTGO expert mode. Oh, this is beyond expert though. <laughs> this is beyond expert. <laughs> now I'm up against my, my friend. I'm up against my friend from Mexico. Ale Liverpool, nice. You were dry pulled? Yeah, sorry, my hand, like I seemed to get into a dead hand, so sorry I didn't get to to play more. <laughs> there was no point, you know, there was absolutely no point in staying in that game for me. Absolutely no point in staying in that game for me. Well, again, it is. Yeah, that's true, Platinum Waiter. That is very true. But, like, I don't even draw well with the good decks, right? The top tier decks, I draw so well. <laughs> that it's just, it's. Uh, like I said, I was playing with Tord's hyper consistent Invitational Dragapult deck earlier today. And what did I. What was I able to do? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Alright. So we're, okay. we're up against Pigram. We finally start a supporter and we finally start a Volcania. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I've entered a parallel universe now. I've entered a parallel universe now. I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh, no. Yeah, put in waiter, that is very true. That is very true, that is a very accurate description. All right, spinner and welder. I'm gonna attach three energies. Mm, actually, yeah, the vitality event is here, so I'm just gonna grab greens. And then I'll do this. To guarantee myself energies, and I'll discard one of them for the Reshi. And I'll do that, and I'll do that, and then I'll do this, and I'll flare star. But yeah, like I can already see the problem, right? My opponent gets turned to full blitz. My opponent gets turned to full blitz. He finally realized who he's up against. My opponent gets turned to full blitz, knocks me out, powers this guy up, and then I KO the Pigram with Vitality Band plus attachment. And then he KOs me, and then I'm dead. Right? And then I'm dead. 
Yeah, that is very true, Blizzard Waiter. That is a very accurate representation. That is a very accurate representation. Alright. Stadium now. We need a double tails. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite, but that's okay. All right, probably for the Dene, I imagine. All right, so what do I go for here? I go greens for. Hmm. That means plant is not good. I go greens for stamp plus vitality band and hope for the best. I guess if I had gone welder, I could one kill this guy. No, why would I stamp here? That's silly. Okay, that top deck was very nice. Um, the big charm could save me, but if I pick if I pick charm, I don't KO. So never mind. So never mind. Right, so I'll do that. That's KO. Probably should have discarded the energy for this quick wall. All greens. Welder and power plant. No, I think I can afford the welder. Actually, it's these two, I think. Welder and beans. No, I really want to take away the stadium, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna take away the stadium. I don't want to let him have that. I definitely don't want to let him have that. Okay. So I'll do this. And then I'll go ahead and do this. Okay, there's Welder. That's nice. I'll do this. And then I'll go Flare Strike. Okay, if my opponent somehow doesn't KO me, then we just win here. I get the mixed herbs as well in case he paralyzes me. So if he, if he only paralyzes me and doesn't attack my hand, then mixed herbs does the trick. That signifies Coco Prism, never mind. Here's the Tetene. Uh, if that had been Power Plant, he wouldn't have been able to. If that had been Power Plant, he would not have been able to do this this turn. Oof. Yeah, we're super dead. We are super dead. I am not married, no, Dave. <laughs> I am not married. Volkner for switch. Yep, we are super dead. We are super dead. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, we're super dead. Well, maybe we're not super dead. Because if we go Power of Reshi stamp, I definitely stamp here. I definitely look for Reshi, right? I have plenty of energy. Don't think I'll be needing the switch. Okay, I guess we're not completely dead. If I don't stamp here, I have no way to KO that guy. But if I heal myself, then that's okay too. All right, so definitely grabbing stamp and power plant, right? Yeah. Stamp, power plant, and then we lose the volcano, and that's completely okay. Power plant, and then I do have energies left in the deck, I'm fairly sure. Let's do this, and then let's go flare starter. This is purely to thin my deck. 
know, purely to thin my deck. I think we might win this one. I think we might actually win this one. Might. Very big might. Very, very big might. to two, give him the stamp. to give him the stamp. <laughs> uh, no, Venus or Selby. I don't have Venus or Selby built. Okay, this is...